hello everyone welcome back to the channel and happy new year's hopefully you had a good time with your families and enjoy your holidays for today's video we're gonna have our portfolio update since it's the first day of the month now here you can see how the market finished for today you can see some red you can see some green but overall it's kind of even it's not bad for the first day of the year analysts are expecting the stock market to rise over the remainder of the year and usually how the market performs at the beginning of the year determines what happens until the end unless you have something like a pandemic let's jump right into my investments and see how my portfolio has been performing starting off we have my robin hood stock account which is my dividend account is sitting at six thousand nine hundred and thirty five dollars now this hasn't changed a lot from last time but i am down more overall in the year about 14 percent than i was before and i have been adding to some positions which i'm going to show you in a second as you can see here are the buys i had on the month so i bought four dollars and 83 cents of 3m it's not a lot i just had that extra cash sitting on my portfolio so i decided to add to the position i bought one share of jp morgan's equity premium income i bought one share of at&t two shares of medical trust i bought another 15 dollars of 3m i bought another share of jp jpi i'm not sure how you really pronounce it. I bought another share of Charles Schwab Dividend ETH SCHD. I bought one share of Realty Income, one share of Intel, one share of Bank of America, two shares of JP. Actually, I sold my position of JP Morgan Chase. Reason for is that for the price of 262 that I had in two shares, I used that money to buy the above shares that you just saw. I just thought it was a better play. I was up on the position, so I just decided to close it. I bought another $22 of 3M. I bought one share of the Apple Hospitality rate one share of medical trust again another share of charles Schwab's, another share of realty income one share of kroger another two dollars in bank of america another six dollars in bank of america now these buys is because i'm trying to average down to a complete share and that's why i'm buying this amount so another 25 dollars i bought another share of jeppy i sold my position in tjx again for 233 dollars i bought the above shares and i also gained the premium that i was making on the stock if it goes back to my entry price i'm probably going to buy it again they're good companies i just decided it was better uh decided to do something better with the money that i had on it now another two shares of medical trust another two shares of intel another two shares of um bank of america and i also closed my position in starbucks once again because of the amount that i had here i bought all the previous shares which are gonna increase my yearly dividend income and as you can see here guys i bought five shares of palantir i bought into the hype they are doing great business so i mean i'm willing to risk 35 dollars to have a uh, bigger gain in the future if it does work uh the stock is down at the moment i don't really plan on adding shares this is just a uh how do you say a home run play if it works fine if not i lose 35 dollars. i really don't mind and then the last one is i bought another three shares of sulfite again just adding to the position that i had because i can average down and it's only 13 dollars. i'm willing to risk losing 50 in order to make 200 in the future so that's about it for Robinhood. Let's jump into Fidelity Investments. Here we have my account sitting at $2,861. And these are the positions in the portfolio. As you can see, most of them are in the red just because of how the market is in general. This is a Roth IRA and most of my investments, it's in the Fidelity 500 Index Fund, which tracks the S&P 500 which is down at the moment so hence that's why my account is down and also my second biggest holding on this account is my blue ship growth which is tech stocks i guess you could say and it's also that now let's jump on to fundraise and as you know in the last video i said that i might close this position because real estate is not good at the moment and i know i'm going to lose value uh, i know real estate is going to lose value therefore i know this account is going to lose value but i didn't do it i decided to stay with it and as you can see I've lost all my gains from the last two years that I've been investing. And not only that, my net returns to date are losing 63 cents. And I'm, the question is, will I close this account? Most likely is yes. I don't know yet when, but probably it's going to be sometime this week. I'll update you guys on a future video if I do. And then let's jump up to jump onto my last investment, which is Acorns. As you can see, my account is sitting at $955 with 27 cents. I'm losing $61 all time. And then here my portfolio is divided in 80% stocks and 20% bonds. Um this is the roundups for the for the last 30 days. I've been 57. I've invested, sorry, for the last 30 days, $57. It's been 27 in roundups and then 25 in recurring. 
and then five dollars in dividends let me know in the comments below what your investing goals are for 2023 do you do you plan to invest more do you want to open a retirement account or a roth ira is there any question you have in general or something you want to do that you don't know maybe let me know in the comments that way if i have an idea or some information i can help you out if you enjoyed the video please leave a like it helps me out with the algorithm subscribe share it with your friends thanks for watching and have a good one